This happened to my father in 1975 when he was 7 years old and his sister was 9. I'll be typing this out as he recounts what happened. My father was a truck driver who had to be up at 2am every morning. That meant we had a rule in our house that no matter what, you can't wake daddy up when he goes to bed at 7pm. My mother worked at an old folks home till 10pm every night. So for a couple of hours, it was just me and my sister by ourselves. It was our bedtime one night, so me and my sister went to bed. In a couple of minutes, I heard something hitting the side of the house. Then it started hitting my window. It was really weird, so I got my sister to come in my room. We looked out the window and saw a man bouncing one of my toys against the window and catching it. He put his hand to his mouth and motioned for us to be quiet. Then he motioned for us to go outside and play with him. We were frozen in fear. Then he started walking away and we couldn't see him out the window. We ran to the kitchen and there he was, motioning for us to open the sliding door. We knew we couldn't wake daddy up so we ran and hid in the living room. The man walked to our front door and started whispering something we couldn't understand and making scratching noises. All we could do is cry and remain paralyzed. We saw car lights approaching the house. It was my mother returning home from work. We watched as the man ran off the porch and hid behind my father's truck. We watched the man smile and wait till our mother got out of the car. She got out, opened her trunk, got her belongings and walked up to the porch. I'm embarrassed to say we were too scared to open the door and warn her. All we could do was watch as the man sneakily tiptoed behind her. She opened the front door and shut it behind her. She saw us hiding and just as she was about to yell at us for being up so late, she saw our fear-stricken eyes glued to the glass on the front door. She turned around and saw his face pressed against the glass and him jiggling the doorknob. She screamed put all her weight against the door, locked the door, and called my grandfather who lived a street over. Then the man shouted profanities and how he was going to rape her children in front of her. She called the police and told them as well. Next thing we know, my grandfather is speeding up the driveway with his gun out the window, just firing it randomly. The cops pulled up just as the man took off into the woods. They saw his back, but that was it. They chased him through the woods with dogs, and had the whole squad out searching. Other officers inspected the house and saw multiple scratch marks at our doors and side of the house. Apparently he tried to break in, and couldn't, so he tried to lure us into letting him in. They never found who it was, and that was the last we ever heard of him. We were all traumatized for a while, but it didn't bother our dad one bit. In fact, he didn't wake up the entire time. So, weirdo back in 75, I'm glad we haven't met again, cause if we do, you'll be the one who says let's not meet.